Firstly, um, a guy who I know has worked very, very hard in this camp, very determined individual, a, a very good competitor, and a good fighter too. Ladies and gentlemen, firstly, I'd like to introduce to you Phil Le Greco. I just want to start by thanking God. Uh, without Him and faith, nothing is possible. I want to thank starting my team, starting with Al Heyman, Sam Watson, Fernando Vargas, Jorge Capitino, my brother, my family, Jay, for helping me through this camp. Uh, it's been fun. Honestly, I've been on this camp to win. It's been 12 weeks. I mean, I finally got to grow a beard for once. I didn't know what it was like to have a beard, now I have one. <laughs> Um, you know, waking up in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, going to run the mountains, things that I've never done before. I had a lot of fun. It's been great. I can't wait till Saturday. Um, I'm just ready to go. There's nothing else that I can say or do that's going to make me better now. So, uh, come on, I support. We're going to put on a great fight. Uh, my goal is obviously to win, and I'm willing to get knocked out to knock him out. So, uh, I'm just ready to go. Thanks, guys. Phil, we, see, we saw you uh, in great shape at the workout. So, how much do you think the inactivity will affect Amir on Saturday night? Well, I, I've been inactive for, if you really look at my career, while Amir was having a lot of success, I was inactive. And, uh, I, let's say I've been a pro since 2006, I would say I would have total six, seven years of inactivity. It really, really, really puts uh, a lot of hurt in your career when you're inactive, especially in his last fight where uh, it ended. Uh, I know it's been on his mind for a long time. And, you know, a lot of fighters, a lot of athletes have a tendency to actually say, you know, they got one more, I got one more in me. You know, from Sugar Ray Leonard to Muhammad Ali to other good fighters that, you know, push the envelope. Uh, I'm a student of the game, and uh, I, you know, here's a fun fact. What you guys don't know? Yeah. I actually met you in 2004 at the Pula Games in Croatia. Uh, Valentino, 60 kilo left. He's like, hey man, you gotta meet this guy. Uh, <laughs> Where? In my gym, from the gym, I was hanging on the <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we haven't got a translator in today. So, <laughs> <laughs> so and you were, we were in Peru, you lost the first fight. Yeah. And I got robbed, then I got hurt, then Valentin was like, man, this guy's gonna be good. And I'm like, hey, bro, you don't remember, but I got a good long term memory. I'm like, oh, you're like, oh, suddenly I'm like, oh, I got a long way. <laughs> Next thing I know, you went there with the soul medal. You went there with the soul medal, and, uh, I, I was a fan. I think in that way, and I've studied your boxing. I honestly believe your best years are done. I think your best years were in 2010, 11, 12, 13, and uh, it's gonna show on Saturday night. That's up. Backhanded compliment there, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, as I said. British boxing is absolutely flying at the moment. We're seeing some incredible nights, sold out arenas, another one on Saturday. This fight's going to be live on ESPN in the States, of course, Sky Sports, here our host broadcaster. And it's a pleasure to welcome this young man to the team. We know how much he's achieved in the sport, we know how hard he works, and we know how much he wants to be back to that level again. To the city of Liverpool, I'd like a big, big round of applause for former unified world champion, Amir Khan. Well, Lieutenant, uh, thank you for coming to the press conference. I'm really looking forward to this fight on Saturday. Um, it's, it's a full sellout. It's been a long time since I fought back in the UK, it's five years, and I uh, can't wait to put on a great performance for all my fans out here. Um, obviously, the last fight I had was two years ago against Canelo. Didn't go the right way, but obviously, that's boxing for you. But, you know, I'll work very hard for this fight because I know that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be. You know, putting me down, saying you've not got, you've not got anything left. 
I mean, I'm 31. I honestly feel better at 31 than I was when I was 28. I mentioned that in all my interviews, and I do feel it as well. Having a great trainer in Joe Goosen. Um, you know, we worked on so much new things. Um, I still train like a 25-year-old, push myself. Um, so, I'm still, I still have the energy and everything in me. Um, I just can't wait to get back in the ring. It has been a long time, but um, it's what I do best. What I do best is getting into the boxing ring and fighting. So, uh, um, you know, thank the Lecco's team for uh, being a little bit more respectful this time and obviously um, good friends with Fernando Vargas. You all, thanks for coming as well. I know he's going to be ready. He's going to be ready to fight. He's going to be ready to what he's going to come to win. Um, but, you know, we work very hard. Me and Joe have put um, more work into this than ever. And I really feel better, in better shape now than I did for the Canelo fight. I thought I trained very hard for that. So, time will tell. <coughs> time will tell. Come Saturday, um, I've done everything I needed to, needed to do. I want to thank my true man, Eddie, for being, uh, being great, putting this fight on and everything. The promotion on Sky Sports has been amazing. So, guys, tune in Sky Sports on Saturday. Um, and for those who are going to be there live, you are going to have a great, we are going to put on a great performance and the best man will win. Thank you.